Hello everyone, welcome to this Chromebook screencasting tutorial using Snagit. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is look for the Snagit extension over on the top right hand corner of your Chromebook. And here it is, it has a little s. And once you've done that, um, first thing you want to do is check to see if the microphone is on. So if you click on this the first time around, you're going to get this um, little note, which uh, basically is asking you for permission to uh, use your microphone on the Chromebook. So you definitely want to click on Allow. And once you've done that, you'll notice that the microphone here is slashed out, which indicates that if you click on this, you can then mute it afterwards. So right now it's on. And once you've done that, you want to click on Screen to start recording. So let's click on that. Now you have two options once you get to this window. You have internal display and then basically just the window display. So more than likely you're going to choose the internal display, which means that it will record not only what you have on the window, uh, but also in the background on the desktop. So basically the whole desktop. If you choose um, this second option, it will only include what's on your uh, window currently. Okay, so just this, for example, for me, not the desktop background. So again, you want to choose internal display more than likely, and then you click on share. Okay, and once you've done that, uh, you'll get this little note over here on the right hand, bottom right hand corner, um, indicating that Snagit is now sharing your screen, which means you are now recording live. And um, once you are done with your recording, you will simply hit stop. Okay, once you've hit stop, you um, can actually title your video. Here I called mine Cool Video. And you have three options of how to um, send this um, video. So more than likely, you're probably, probably going to use your Google Drive link. Uh, but actually, if even if you don't um, click on any of these options and just simply exit out, it'll automatically save for you anyway. So um, I, I should talk about a second option here, though. Uh, you can send it directly to YouTube if you already do have a, a YouTube account. Okay, so I've titled my video. Um, I've clicked on Google Drive or I simply just exited out. Let me show you what that looks like live though. Let me exit out of this presentation and then uh, show you this. So this is what I have now live. I remember I called it cool video. I can actually preview my video to see if it's okay. Let's see if, if I like it. Hello everyone, welcome to this Chromebook screencasting tutorial using Snagit. Okay, so I like that. And again, I can click on my options here, decide which one of these I want. Okay, now where does this video go if you click on Google Drive or if you, if you simply just exit out? Well, if you go to your drive, your Google Drive, um, TechSmith, the company that owns Snagit, automatically puts a folder on your drive. And here it is, TechSmith. Okay, so this is done automatically, and once you open up this folder, you'll notice that your video is right there. Okay, so I'll open it up, make sure everything's okay. Hello everyone, welcome to this Chromebook screencasting tutorial using Snagit. All right, and if everything is okay, I can simply share this with anybody I want by clicking this icon, or whatever other sharing icon you may have. Okay. All right, well, hopefully this uh, was a helpful tutorial, both for teachers and students. If you have any questions, please email me.